What's going on everybody? This is d -Rail. This is Grown Man Gamings. If you can, like, subscribe, share. And if you like to look at different video gaming content, this is going to be something new. Something we're introducing to the brand. If, uh, if you haven't watched Rails Rants Reloaded, that's me talking about random subjects. But this right here is Grown Men's Gaming. Where we're going to be talking about, you know, a lot of video game stuff nerdy stuff sci-fi this that and the third so if you can like subscribe share um i'm gonna have a link in the description to my twitch it's going to be grown man underscore grown men's underscore uh gaming it'll be in the description you'll, you, you'll figure it out i'll have a link there what we're going to talk about today is this big bad boy right here this right here is a nintendo switch very good console very kid friendly i like it a lot i have about five of them in my house everybody in my house has one um only problem i had with this console and it wasn't a big problem it was just that i needed to make some adjustments to get it where i was comfortable with playing certain games i like to play monster hunter world and um breath of the wild even a little bit of Smash. Yeah, I like a little bit of Smash. But it's very difficult. Not even difficult. I don't want to say difficult. It's kind of uncomfortable when you got this big thing and you're a grown adult and you're trying to play like this. And after, you know, maybe about 45 minutes to an hour of playing, if you one of these guys that play, or girls that, you know, you, you play and then you go on these long runs of playing you might be playing for one hour two hour you got the uh thing uh plugged up or you might even have it docked but the piece that it comes with to use the joy cons as a controller is very uncomfortable so what i wound up doing was or what what happened was my wife wound up and my my wife is wonderful she got me one of these. This is the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. But, but, we're not going to talk about that right now. We're not going to talk about that right now. What we're going to talk about is something a little bit special. This is a nice controller. All black. Like I said, we're going to talk about this in another video. What I want to talk about right now is the Nano Controller. The Switch Nano Controller. I don't know if you can see it. This sucker right here, I got it from GameStop. Just wanted to... I randomly go in GameStop and I just said, you know what? Let me see if I can find something. I have some extra money. I'm, I'm going to buy something. And I seen this nano controller and I opened it up and it's kind of a sort of an unboxing and opinion video. It's all right. I opened it up and I said, this is a nice controller and it's nano, meaning it's smaller than the regular pro controller. I have about four controllers and big shout out to the people in GameStop because before I got these uh, two pro controllers because I would consider this a pro controller because it's wireless. Um, before I got this, I went to GameStop. Love GameStop. I wish they would do better as far as being a business and they cut not the customer service, just, just how they run they run their stuff. But I went there, probably spent $25 on two wired controllers. Wonderful lady, I don't know her name, but I went and bought a Pikachu a wired controller. It was used, it was like $24. And then she was like, take this one. I was like, why am I taking a second one? The second one was a Mario wired controller. It was used, it was literally 99 cent. That's cool. but. Me being a gamer that I am, I really like to be playing wireless. I don't want to have the constraint of having the wire in. I got kids running around. Somebody might trip over the wire. Then the game gets disconnected, this, that, and the third. So I asked my wife, 
Pepsi, get me one of these. And she did. But that's for another video. This right here, the Nano, brought this sucker. It was $49.99, which is not a bad price for it. And it came came like in the same box, but a little bit smaller box. I'm gonna open it up. It's already been opened, but I'm gonna open it up for you. What the Pro Controller doesn't have is this little dust bag for your, uh, you know, to charge it, to charge it into whatever you're charging it into so you can charge it. And then you open the box. Then you got the controller. And I'm not gonna lie, I love this little thing. To be honest with you, this might have been one of the best investments that I have made since I've had a Nintendo Switch. If you could look, this is the Nano, this is the Pro. The Pro is about two times bigger than the Nano. But at the same time, depending on how big your hands are or what game you're playing, this controller feels awesome. And if I'm wanting to go and I want to play a game, like a couple of days ago, I went to go get my car service, went to go get an oil change, had my uh, switch, put it on the table, pulled this sucker out. It's not big, it's not clunky, it's, it's, it's very small. My hand is bigger than it, if you can see that. It just feels great in your hand. It's not big, it's not loose, it's, you got no sound, it's wireless. I want to say, you know what, I'm not even going to guess how long it will stay charged after it's, uh, while it's being wireless. But for $50, you can't beat this. I didn't get this at Walmart, and uh, I was, I've been scheming at Walmart to see, you know, I might want to get a new controller. I go to Walmart because it's closer than GameStop. But I said for 50 bucks, and this is a dope color because they had this in black, but I'm like, I already got a black controller. Let me get the, uh, you know, the blue and red to go with the blue and red. And mind you, this is a licensed Nintendo Switch controller. This is not something off of Amazon. So it's the same colors, the same finish, this, that, and the third. I would suggest anybody that wants to have an option instead of just going to the big default pro controller and you want something that you could throw this in your bag pretty much if you think about it look i'm gonna show you right here this is what you also could do this is the dust bag that it came with and this is amazing it's nothing not no new technology or whatever, but we're just going to try something while we're making the video. And this is the wire. Put the wire to the side. If you really wanted to, if you really wanted to, you could put this, let's see if it works in here. Let's see if it works. Wow, look at that. Look at that. And then you could just put this in your bag. Grown Men's Gaming, hope you enjoyed the video. If you can, like, subscribe, share. Subscribe to my Twitch channel, playing Call of Duty right now. Might switch it up. Also, if you're trying to make some money or you're into investing, I'm going to throw a Robinhood link in the description. And if you sign up for Robinhood, you'll get five free stocks. Also, all of the tech that I have, or I say tech, but... The things that I'm showing on this channel like that, Nano Controller, which is awesome. I will have a link in the description, an affiliate link, probably to Amazon. So that will help the page out, the, the channel out very much, and I would appreciate it. But, like I said, I would definitely buy that Nano Controller. It's 50 bucks. You really can't beat that. What we're going to make a cover, what we're going to do next... What we're going to do next, the next video, we're going to talk about the big unit, the big boy, the nano controller. But we're going to save that. We're going to save that for another time. Like, subscribe, go on the channel, look at some of the older videos, look at the Twitch videos, 
have some fun, enjoy yourself, peace.